Bashit Genesis 11. And the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass, as they journeyed from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Shinar, and they dwelt there. And they said one to another, Go to, let us make brick, and burn them throughly. And they had brick for stone, and slime had they for mortar. And they said, Go to, let us build a city and a tower, whose top may reach unto the heavens. And let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. And Yahuwah came down to see at the city and at the tower which the children of men built. And Yahuwah said, Behold, the people is one, and they have all one language, and this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined to do. Go to, let us go down, and there confound their language, that they may not understand one another's speech. So Yahuwah scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth, and they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel, because Yahuwah did there confound the language of all the earth, and from thence did Yahuwah scatter them abroad upon the face of all the earth. These are the generations of Shem. Shem was a hundred years old and begat at Arpachshad, two years after the flood. And Shem lived after he begat at Arpachshad five hundred years and begat sons and daughters. And Arpachshad lived five and thirty years and begat at Shalak. And Arpachshad lived after he begat at Shalak four hundred and three years and begat sons and daughters. And Shalak lived thirty years and begat at Eber. And Shalak lived after he begat at Eber four hundred and three years and begat sons and daughters. And Eber lived four and thirty years and begat at Peleg. And Eber lived after he begat at Peleg four hundred and thirty years, and begat sons and daughters. And Peleg lived thirty years, and begat Reu. And Peleg lived after he begat at Reu two hundred and nine years, and begat sons and daughters. And Reu lived two and thirty years, and begat at Sarug, and Reu lived after he begat at Sarug two hundred and seven years, and begat sons and daughters. And Sarug lived thirty years, and begat at Nakor. And Sarug lived after he begat at Nakor two hundred years, and begat sons and daughters. And Nakor lived nine and twenty years, and begat at Tarak. And Nakor lived, after he begat at Tarak, a hundred and nineteen years, and begat sons and daughters. And Tarak lived seventy years, and begat at Avram, at Nakor, and at Haran. Now, these are the generations of Tarak. Tarak begat at Avram at Nekor, and at Haran, and Haran begat at Lot. And Haran died before his father Tarak in the land of his nativity, in Ur of the Kazdim. And Avram and Nekor took them women. The name of Avram's woman was Sarai. 
and the name of Nacor's woman, Milka, the daughter of Haran, the father of Milka, and the father of Yikha. But Sarai was barren. She had no children. And Tarak took et Avram, Avram, rather, et Avram, his son, and et Lot, the son of Haran, his son's son, and et Sarai, his daughter-in-law, his son Avram's woman. And they went forth with them from Ur of the Castium to go into the land of Kenaan. They came unto Haran and dwelt there. And the days of Terak were two hundred and five years, and Terak died in Haran.